Hi everyone, in the previous video on new Obsidian plugins, we talked briefly about a new plugin called as Tasklist Kanban. And in this video, we'll go in depth on different features of Tasklist Kanban and how you can start using it for task management and project management within Obsidian. Tasklist Kanban is a free and open source Obsidian plugin that imports all of the tasks within your Obsidian world into a single Kanban view. It aims to reduce the duplication when managing and prioritizing tasks. While there are other plugins like Kanban as well as Cardboard, I think they miss certain things. In the Kanban plugin, you have to add all the tasks in the same file only. With the Cardboard plugin, you can't drag and drop tasks. It's just a uh, simple Kanban view with no feature to drag and drop. And this feature has been on the roadmap for Cardboard plugin for so long. I don't think this task list Kanban plugin is perfect yet, but it tries to solve some of the problems with these other two plugins. And the best one being any task you create anywhere in your world, it will automatically appear in your task list Kanban. And you can use hashtags on the task itself to allocate it to a specific column in the Kanban view and easily drag and drop to different columns. We'll talk about all of these things as we go into the video. Let's start with the installation of the plugin. You can go to settings, go to come to plugins and go to browse and search for task list Kanban over here and it will appear here. Click on install and enable the plugin. It does not have any options uh, to configure so I'll just close it and neither it has some ribbon menu. So how do you create a Kanban view with the task list Kanban plugin? That is simple. You will need to right click on the folder where you want to create task list Kanban. For example, if you want to create into this inside this atomic notes folder, you will need to right click on it and you will see this option uh, to create a new Kanban. So I'll create it inside this folder MOC and you can click on the option to create a new Kanban and it will create a new Kanban board over here. This Kanban board will have some default columns which you can configure. Uh, I'll show that later on. You can add as many columns as you want over here and they will just stack one against the other. And there's this option for settings. Right now I'm using the primary theme over here. That is why it is not being able to show that option. Uh, settings icon over here. Let me switch to minimal theme. Okay, now there's this setting icon, right? If you go to the settings, you have three options over here, column, folder scope, and show file path, which you can toggle on or off. You can easily edit and delete these columns. If I choose nothing over here, it will uh, remove all the columns. Let me show you. You can easily edit and delete these columns like that. Let's say I'll just add some columns to plan and next week. If you click on save, these columns will be created and you can easily drag and drop tasks uh, into these columns. You can easily drag and drop those tasks from one column to another column. Let me go to settings again and here's the another options that is uh, very important with this plugin that is folder scopes. Where should we try to find tasks for this Kanban? You can choose two options, either this folder or every folder. If you choose this folder, only tasks created in the files within this folder, that is the MOC folder will be collected for this Kanban view. If you choose every folder, then all the tasks created anywhere in your world will be collected and displayed in this Kanban view. Then there is this another option to toggle the file path. You can toggle this off or on based on your own preference. I'll just toggle this on right now. And I love the concept of folder scope because it lets you create Kanban view for general tasks as well as project management. For example, if you uh, keep all the files and notes for a particular project inside one folder, then you can create a Kanban view inside that folder and only the task created within that folder will be displayed, which is better for project management. Now let me save this over here with these columns, folder scope as every folder and so file path, click on save and it will display this one task, one a checkbox item inside my world, which is checklist item. I'll just create some new tasks and show you some of the features of uh, this task list Kanban plugin. So I'll just uh, write like task one, task two, okay? So I'll switch to toggle checkbox status. You can also assign a hotkey for easier access. So I'll just write task one, task two, task three. And you can see all of these tasks 
are added over this uncategorized column because we don't have any hashtag. You can add a hashtag to allocate these tasks to one of these uh, columns to do planned or up next. You will need to add the tag. So let's say if I want to add task three to planned, I just need to add the hashtag planned and it will automatically update to on uh, the plan column. If you drag it over here, drag it over to do, it will automatically update to to do. So this is really nice and smooth. Uh, you can easily drag and drop these tasks from one uh, column to another column and it will automatically update over the uh, main source file where your tasks are located. It has two default columns, uh, uncategorized and done. And these are the other columns that you can uh, configure over here. You can only add the tags that are uh, added over this column setting to do, plan, up next, and next week. Only these tags will be supported for columns. If you write our uh, task for tomorrow, it will still be in this uh, uncategorized. But if you add a column over here, tomorrow, tomorrow, it will create a new column. Okay. And it will be allocated to that column once the task is completed you can drag it to the done column and it will be checked off you can see it here once the task is dragged to the done column it will be marked as done by removing the uh, hashtag uh, let me drag this task to which is a uh, tag with hashtag planned i'll just drag this to done section and it will be marked as done by removing the planned hashtag when you are doing a lot of tasks and this don column will be crowded. So if you want to remove these completed tasks from this don column, you can easily archive them all and they will be tagged archive hashtag and they will be removed from here. They will not be shown anywhere in your world. Even if you uncheck these items, they will not uh, be displayed over any of these columns. So you'll need to be uh, careful with that. Another feature of this plugin is to be able to edit items right from here you can also add a tasks in a particular column by clicking on this add new button and clicking on the task list and you can see here is the option to add a task this is a task but it's better to add a task right into the note file right or you can just toggle checkbox status and this is a task too so this is a better and more efficient way to create tasks instead of uh, clicking on the add new button and selecting the file and doing like that now another thing that you can do is add multiple tags to your notes and this is helpful if you want to distinguish these tasks to different projects so i can just write project a and i'll just copy this task over here task three task four and I'll just choose project B now. So, okay, let me remove this section. Now what I have done is I have added a project category to the task. This task relates to, relates to project A and this task relates to project B. Uh, the task list Kanban plugin gives you ability to filter tasks by tag, which will be very helpful if you want to use it for project management. You can filter the displayed tasks in the Kanban view by project. Currently, we have no filter. You can filter by both content and filter by tag. If you filter by content, you will need to source for the name of the task. So if I write checklist, it will only display this checklist item because it is the only matching item. Uh, but if you want to filter by tag, let's say if I want to filter by project A, then only tasks related to project A and only tasks that are, are tagged with the hashtag project A will be displayed over here. You can see only project A tasks are here in the uh, plant column if i choose project b it will display task tagged with project b if i choose both it will only display the tags from within your world with these two uh, tags so this is very useful if you want to use it for project management along with task management you can easily distinguish tasks between different projects and you can use this filtering option in this task list kanban plugin in order to create a project one thing that i would love to see uh, with task list kanban plugin is the integration with the tasks plugin in obsidian i don't have a 
tasks plugin installed right now but i'll install it and show you some examples that would really be helpful okay uh, why is my internet connection off tasks sort by most downloaded and install this task plugin with over 1.4 million downloads uh, click on enable so i can write okay i'll just write it over here due date is tomorrow and priority is high what i want to see what i would love to see with this plugin is the ability to integrate with tasks plugin so uh, i had some details for this task such as i added a due date and i added the priority as high priority based on the tasks plugin but it will not render that thing over here it will just display it normally this is task 2 and project related to project a and just gives a due date but if it integrates with the task plugin really well there will be ability to sort these tasks based on due date based on the priority and other things like schedule date etc instead of being a standalone uh, plugin uh, it would really benefit from being able to integrate well with task but i don't know how difficult it is for the developer uh, to work on this but uh, that's all i want to say so this is all for this video i hope you found this video valuable if you found this video valuable please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with some cool obsidian related content in the future i'll be doing some dashboard and setup related videos in the future so stay tuned to watch those videos as well thank you for watching have a great time see you again bye bye